morning guys today is sassy sunday just kidding i don't know what that is i just made that up um today is sunday though and i am very excited because i am starting a new tradition in chiang mai that is called i don't really have a name for it yet but the principle is that we are going to have brunch every sunday so i'm very excited about it today is Sunday number one of the brunch club. That's what we should call it, the brunch club. I'm going to meet Allie, Scott, and Maddie at Taste From Heaven, and we are going to brunch it up. I'm just gonna drink some coffee because I haven't had any caffeine today, and as you can tell, I have no energy. <laughs> Scotty, what's your favorite thing about Chiang Mai? It's definitely got to be the night markets on a Saturday and Sunday night. Definitely night come here and check it out. All right, the night markets, Scotty says. What about you, Ali? My favorite thing about Chiang Mai is the food. I love to eat here because there are thousands of restaurants everywhere. It's such different food. I, just, I just eat every day. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, what's your favorite thing about Chiang Mai? My favorite thing about Chiang Mai would be the work environment. Being able to be a digital nomad in a very supportive community. Lots of coffee shops, lots of ideas, people that do different things. It's a great one. It's a good one. My favorite thing about Chiang Mai is the coffee. There's coffee everywhere. <laughs> All right, so um, all my friends went home. I decided I feel like walking around a little bit. You know, I feel like walking a little bit. So I'm gonna walk around the old city because I don't come here very often and check it out. I just bought this really cute postcard for 35 baht from this place. They make their own postcards. How cute are they? Heard I was good, they wanna see it. So I was just kind of walking around the city and I happened to walk right by the restaurant that we went to brunch at and this restaurant has a vegan brownie that I've had before when I first came to Chiang Mai and it is so incredible. I've been dreaming about it ever since then and so when I walked by this restaurant again I thought maybe it was a sign that I needed to eat this brownie again. <laughs> So I'm just walking home from the restaurant. It's quite a bit of a walk. It's probably like um, two or three miles, maybe like an hour of walking, but you know, it's Sunday and I feel like it's nice to have a relaxed lunch of junk food and then, you know, like go for a nice long walk. I don't know, I feel like that's really relaxing. It's a good thing to do on a Sunday. I got 90 percent of the way home. My house is less than 10 minutes walking from here, but it just started pouring rain. I'm home. Oh, that's right. I've never been so happy to be home. Yeah, we have a situation. All right, this is a situation. Oh, God. I wear the same flip-flops every single day. I'm going to show you. These are my flip-flops. I wear them every single day. I've had them for two years. Basically, I've completely worn off the tread in the back. So, whoever planned this city decided that it would be a great idea to make the sidewalks very slick and they have this really slick, almost like tile kind of material that they use on the sidewalks, which I don't think is a very good idea because it rains every day here and so it makes the sidewalk very slippery. So the combination of the slippery sidewalk and my shoes having no tread means that I slip 
all the time, like all the time. It hasn't been too bad except for recently. In the past two weeks, I've slipped three times, like full on slipping, like I actually fell down. And today, I like twisted my ankle, I scratched my knee, I scratched my ankle, and I fell like butt down on the sidewalk. My whole butt is soaking wet right now. It's very uncomfortable. I need to change my shorts actually. So basically I need your help. I need you guys to tell me what your favorite, like most reliable, like high quality, really nice type of sandal or flip flop that I should buy. The good news is that I saw a rabbit on a scooter today. <laughs> like. The stuff you see in Thailand, man, I can't even make this stuff up. So that's where we're at for today. I hope this was as fun for you as it was for me. Bye! Me, you were ready. You know what to do if only you were